This is Daniel Bloodworth uh, reporting from Gamescom in Germany where I just played the very first demo of uh, Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel. And uh, the main thing I have to say is that uh, it doesn't really feel like the past Army of Two game. It's, uh, you know, it's being done by uh, Visceral Studios now instead of the, uh, the former guys. And I feel like it's, it's, it's not as weighty. It doesn't have the same kind of... Uh, tongue-in-cheek kind of uh, humor, at least it's not as apparent in this uh, quick 10-minute uh, demo. And uh, these, uh, uh, you know, these guys are just kind of uh, working through like uh, a drug house and uh, you, you still get in some of the, the similar situations where one guy falls down a floor and then you have to, to cover him while he works his way back up. Like I said, they don't, they don't feel as weighty. It's a little bit easier to get uh, in and out of cover. They have these little uh, subtle, subtle blue uh, arrows uh, on cover when you can get into it, and uh, they also have this new overkill system uh, that they mentioned at the press conference. And it's uh, essentially as you uh, earn points for different kinds of kills and uh, teaming up with your partner, uh, then you can hit the left bumper uh, on a 360 controller to initiate uh, this overkill mode, which lets you just uh, tear through. Uh, destructible objects and just uh, like take limbs off of guys and, and just do a lot more damage than you normally would. And uh, they make it sound like you can tear through anything, but it's uh, it, it didn't seem quite as, uh, as destructive as they, they want it to be <laughs> yeah, from, from what I could tell. Uh, but it's an interesting mechanic and they say that it will, uh, it will be something that you can do more and more often uh, as you play with the same partner. Uh, the other thing they, they did mention that the, the guys from the previous game, uh, Salem and Rios, will be in the game somewhere. I'm not sure in what way, and they did mention that they're going to have, uh, you know, more stuff with the masks like in past games. Uh, and the, the end of the demo is the same thing that we saw at the, the press conference um, where uh, one person gets in a helicopter and takes guys out from the air and, and uh, shoots uh, exploding gas tanks and things like that while the other guy um, has to, uh, you know, stay stay on the rooftop and and try to uh, survive and, and take cover there. Uh, but uh, you know, it's looking pretty good so far for a game that was just announced and is coming out in just a few months. Uh, but uh, keep an eye on it for uh, more previews.